Hey guys, what's up? And welcome to the Cafe Pacific Pier Lounge, the business class lounge at Hong Kong International Airport. I thought I'd very quickly just show you around what it consists of. So first of all, we met with a fresh coffee barista stand, which I haven't tried yet, but I will be. Um, you've got some food here, which I think there's some made to order. Let's just have a quick look. A couple of the examples. Brobosier, bacon tart, wild mushroom pizza. It's a bunch of different options. Some soup, deep fried vegetable cutlet, grilled veggie panini. Oh, that looks lovely. I think I might have to sample that. It's a relative selection of drinks as well just here. Some coffee if you don't fancy the fresh ones. If we move on towards here, we've got the um, serve or well, manned bar. Um, now one thing that is apparent of this lounge is that there's an awful lot of seating and it's quite busy in here but it doesn't feel that bad because it's quite spread out. So I'll show you very quickly the bar. Champagne on offer is Moe, which I think is quite a nice one, similar to the Emirates lounge, business class lounges. Again, they've got a nice coffee machine there. And there is a lovely Korean Air 747 just out here. And perfect timing, Cafe Pacific 777 coming into land. There's more like working desks down over there. It's like a small area here, I guess, never quiet. Similar to the Turkish lounge, there's little areas where you can get yourself drinks dotted various places around if you fancy a board meeting. So if we move back round, still plenty more. So through here we have the noodle bar. We've got some interesting things on offer. So this is more like a restaurant. It feels a bit like Wagamama's, if I'm honest. Various accoutrements. Yeah, as I said, there's a lot of seating. So this is more set out like a restaurant. Then we go through to the tea house. I've just requested a very nice tea, which I'm really looking forward to. And then a seating area here to enjoy your tea. Last of all, we have the showers, which are through here, the shower suites. Got a waiting area. There's no spa, but I assume that's in the first class. I've been to some good lounges in my time, but this is out up there. It's like a first class lounge. I've just had a, a shower in my shower suite. It's ridiculous. The products here are like, you know, 40 quid a bottle, but you know, I can enjoy, I can enjoy that on my short hop over to Bangkok. Cheers. I would like to explain the situation when an airline um, overbooks flights. You're offered, sometimes you're offered voluntary bump down or downgrades. So essentially I've been booked onto business, so has John from Hong Kong to Bangkok. Now we were really looking forward to this flight because originally it was the BA350. Now unfortunately with operational changes the aircraft is now a 777 and it's a pretty weak hard product so we were not that excited about it and I've just been offered um, five and a half thousand Hong Kong dollars which equates to um, approximately 550 pounds great tea to, uh, to go and sit in economy for two hours now I think that is a fantastic proposition so there we go guys downgrading is not that bad